Today, I come with a sad face. This is not like the usual edition because it involves the loss of lives of Nigerians, kidnappings, particularly of school children, and supposed repentant bandits and Boko Haram members. Welcome to Premium Times on the Go. I am Tisilopwe Fadari. In this edition, I will share with you a story based on an exclusive report done by Premium Times on supposed repentant bandits. In the report, a notorious banditry kingpin in Kassina State, Usman Idris aka Ruga Kachala, sought compensation for his burnt house, grains, and the arrest of his wives as the condition for ending his criminal activities in the state. A banditry kingpin requesting compensation before I continue with this story. Let me tell you a bit more about Kachala. In 2016, Kachala alongside other banditry kingpins renounced banditry at a ceremony attended by the secretary to the government of Kasina State in Ilila town of Safana local government area. But soon after the ceremony, Mr. Kachala continued his reign of terror. Now, he is believed to be leading criminal activities in Safana local government area of Kassina State and routinely kidnapping people for ransom and rustling cattle without restraint. The interesting part of this story is that the banditry kingpin is also involved in lawful businesses which has endeared the local populace to him. He has many commercial vehicles on the road which generates daily income for him and creates employment for grateful locals. In some local government areas, locals obey his orders and seek his permission to cultivate their farmlands. The residents shield him so much that they resisted an attempt by security agents to arrest one of his lieutenants, identified as Gobi, who sells cows rustled by Kachala. More interesting is that Kachala is not hiding in the forest like other armed bandits. He's living in Gimi with his family. After the security agents raided the bandit's house, took his two wives and set his house on fire, the residents helped to put out the fire. In revenge, Kachala kidnapped Lawan Garba, a primary school teacher, a grain grinder, and farmers. Eventually, he got his wives back, and a ransom of 300,000 naira was reportedly paid to him, which he said, was for the services of lawyers. Lawyers. Wow. Moving on from this story, it is important to note that as a result of banditry, students have stopped going to school in Kaduna, Zamfara, and in some parts of Niger and Kassina states. In this report, there are more interesting details you will discover. You can read the report on Premium Times website. On the flip side, the governor of Zamfara state Bilu Matawali on the 2nd of March 2021 said repentant bandits negotiated the release of 279 Jangebe schoolgirls and that no ransom was paid. Bearing all this in mind, are you in support of the government's acceptance of repentant bandits and Boko Haram members? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. This is Premium Times on the Go. I am Titi Lopwe Fadari.